it wasn't a good feeling. As soon as I got up, I could feel, hold on, this, this hurts more than it should do here. It was extremely tough, really, really tough decision to have to call it quits at that point and just say, okay, enough is enough. The Vuelta is a special race for me. It, it's a race where I first discovered my potential as a Grand Tour rider. Flexibility and resilience are two key things in this game and, and, and it became obvious that once Chris had a small amount of time to get over the disappointment and sort of just, you know, catch his breath a little bit and have a bit of time, um, then we felt that actually his hunger would come back because that's who he is, you know, that's what he is. And sure enough, a few days later, we had a chat and um, he's like, oh yeah, I think I might want to go to the welter, you know. I, I really didn't know if I was coming here to, to ride for a top 10, ride for top five or a podium or to, to actually challenge for the, for the red jersey. But um, I think as the race went on and we just really did, I mean, we keep saying it, we just take it one day at a time. But I think what was interesting maybe from Chris's point of view is that in the tours where he's done well, he's come in in, in super great shape, you know, he's come in and he's really gone, you know, gone at it from the, from the off and been in great shape coming in. Whereas this was different in so far. He came into this race um, slightly underdone, shall we say, and, he's, and the aim was to try and build up through the race and, and to see, see where he could get to. The time trial for me was, was a big turning point in this race. The first 10 minutes of that, I think I just, I just completely blew my doors off. I, I, went, I went too hard at it and then, uh, then paid for it for, for the next half an hour. Felt from then, Alberto could ride a very defensive race, um, which which meant that he could sit on the wheels, on the climbs, and not necessarily have to to do too much work. And um, that definitely changed the dynamics. He's certainly one of the best Grand Tour riders of our generation. So if you're going to get beaten by anybody, he's the man to get beaten by. You know, you got to you got to respect the guy for what he's done. I gave it everything I, I had. I tried to keep the speed up as much as possible, just to keep Alberto on his limits, and then. In the last couple of kilometres, I mean, I, I tried attacking. Uh, I, I don't know how many times I tried attacking and trying to just get break that elastic off my back wheel, but um, he wouldn't give me an inch. He wouldn't budge at all. The lads have, have performed fantastically well, and they've, they've responded to Chris as a, as, and his leadership. They've all lifted the game. They've all gelled really well. And I'd say as a, as a team performance, um, this is the best we've ridden, the best team Grand Tour performance for two years. We were a group of guys who were basically just thrown together at the last minute. We hadn't done too much preparation as a team together, um, but the guys just, just pulled through fantastically. I couldn't be prouder or more um, inspired by the way that the guys here have responded from the disappointment to the tour? It's been an amazing experience being here in this Vuelta. Um, I, I've really taken a lot away from it and I think we, we all can as a team. And one of the learnings for me is not only has Chris Froome got the strongest legs, you know, within that small group of, of, of the best riders in the world, he's one of the best guys and has got the strongest legs. My oh my has he got the strongest mind. And I think that's one of the, the, the combination of those two is actually what, what differentiates him from a lot of other riders. Chris has proven here yet again that he's you know, one of the very few top GC riders in the world. And our aim now is to sit and, and plot the, the route between now and next year's yellow jersey. It's a long way away, but it's, it's definitely there at the back of the mind. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing what, what route they've got for us. I've definitely come away from this Vuelta quite, quite hungry now. and. Um, Looking forward to getting stuck into next season.